Hi guys, this is Nancy with Stampy Before Anything Else, and I just wanted to hop on real quick to let you know um, that we had gotten quite a few requests to learn how to do these cute little gift boxes, and or, or actually a gift bag, I should say. Um, they hold a little gift card in here, and they are absolutely adorable. So we're going to show you step by step how to do that. All right, so we are actually using the Parisian Suite that is in the mini catalog, the 2020 mini catalog from Stampin' Up. And it is a wonderful, wonderful, fun um, set to get. Uh, right here is the designer series paper that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using the Parisian Beauty Bundle. Um, we're not gonna be using the stamp, but we're gonna be using um, the little swirly cue right there. And we're also gonna be using a die from page 20 of the mini catalog, the Stitch So Sweetly dies. We're gonna be using the smallest little uh, rectangle in that set. So you're gonna need a piece of scrap paper, a piece of Whisper White scrap paper, and we're gonna cut out a swirl with that. You're gonna be using your sweet dies for the smallest little rectangle here. And then you're also gonna be using your champagne foil. We're gonna be using the smallest uh, stitch circle from the Stitch Shapes from the annual catalog. The designer series paper is gonna be measured at seven and a half by four and a quarter. And then you're also gonna need a strip that measures seven and a half by half inch. Okay, to get started, now normally I would be using the liquid glue to adhere this on the top here and it works perfect for video recording purposes I'm going to be using the snail tape on here because it I don't have to wait for it to dry <clears throat> all right so we're gonna put this on the top piece up here now make sure if you have directional paper that you make sure you have it in the right way and I have my suitcases pointing up and I want it going around the bag this way. So we want to give that a good burnish. We're going to take out our scoring board and we are going to score with the long edge up at the top. We are going to score at two and a half, three, three and a half. Now we're going to move down to six, six and a half, and seven. Now we're going to form the base, the bottom of the bag. So you're going to turn it so that the part that doesn't have the half inch strip at it, you want the right up to the edge here and we're going to score at one inch. All right. So now we're done with the scoreboard. Next we're going to gently burnish these pieces. Okay. And we're actually going to do it in a mountain valley form. First, I'm going to do the bottom. Make sure. Oh, I didn't press very hard on that. Okay, gently press. Now, I'm very heavy, hand, heavy handed. If you want, you can use your bone folder. However, since I am heavy handed, I'm just going to use my hands. And the reason is, is because I could possibly tear. If I push too hard with the bone folder, I could tear the paper. So now we're going to do the sides here. And we're going to do the mountain valley fold so we're going to do this one up first then we're going to fold it upon the next fold and then we're going to fold away on the next fold okay so then we have kind of like a, a mountain valley mountain valley fold okay we're going to do the same thing over here the two outer ones are going to be up then we're going to fold it on the next one and then we're gonna fold it away to form the other mountain, okay? Like so. So now you got the two mountain and valley folds like that. Now, the next thing we're gonna do on the part that has the half inch, we are going to cut off this tiny little rectangle right here. So we're gonna cut up straight up to the one inch score line we're going to cut straight across okay and then I always like to miter my corners just to be on the safe side 
Okay, so now right here, your Mountain Valley folds, this is where our tabs are gonna be on the side. That'll be tucked under. So this could be the front or the back side of the bag. So we're gonna cut straight up on the mountain points. Straight up there and straight up to that one inch score line. Okay, perfect. So now that we have that done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this flat and then we're gonna take this piece here and lay it flat as well, okay? Now this is where we're gonna put tear and tape, right here. And then this should fold right over onto itself. Sometimes you can get it off just a tiny bit, and if you do, don't worry. Just kinda lay it down the best you can. And then we're gonna give it a good burnish right here so it doesn't fall apart, okay? So now we have the base part of our box. We're gonna flip it over. We're gonna put these two tabs, side tabs in. I'm gonna figure out what side is the front. Now this right here usually goes in the back, but since I have just a teeny tiny bit of a hangover, I'm gonna put that in the front so when they open it up, they're not gonna see the edge right there, okay? So this one's gonna go down. We're gonna put the tape on here. One more strip. Now you're gonna make sure you have everything squared up just perfectly. Give that a good press. Now I usually go on the inside, and again, just give it a good burnishing on the inside. And there we have our bake. Isn't that adorable? Love it. So the next step, you're gonna need a 1 8 inch hand punch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch a hole right through the side here on the other side of that where these fold up, okay? On both sides. And I just kind of eyeball it right there. And I'm gonna go over here and do the same, just like that. Now comes the fun part. And now we're gonna add our ribbon. This ribbon is also part of the suite. It is the Petal Pink Metallic Edged Ribbon, and it matches perfectly. And it's got a little bit of that champagne uh, edge on here. We're gonna tie a knot, bring it through, loop it down to however long you want your handle to be. Bring it through here again. Trim it off a little on the edges. And then we have one. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Now we're gonna take our pieces and we're going to start building our little, cute little tab uh, tag on the front. The champagne rhinestones is part of the suite as well. We're gonna need petal pink ink. We're gonna use the Amour. Now we're gonna build our piece. We're gonna put dimensionals on the back of there put dimensionals. We're going to actually put dimensionals on this, but first we're going to put this little swirly cue on here. Like so. And you'll have your dimensionals will be your glue to hold this swirly cue on there. Now before we put it on our bag, we're going to put a couple of these rhinestones on. Now we're going to take the back of the dimensionals off. thing that you need next. So take a little bit of tissue, scrunch it up, push it in, and it's ready for a gift card. Take this one out and it should fit just fine in there. 
like so. And we are done. Grab the other two. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed this. We had so much fun demonstrating this at our Demos Galore event yesterday. If you have any questions, please drop us an email and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page. You can also find us on Instagram as well as Pinterest. Thank you so much.